Thank you all for being here this morning. I know that all of us are profoundly concerned by what is happening in Israel and Gaza. And here at Lambeth Palace, we are praying constantly for all those who are caught up in this war that has already brought so much suffering to so many people. But today we have come together out of shared concern for our communities and neighborhoods here in the UK and to stand together against any form of hatred or violence against Jewish people or any other community. I stand before you in my capacity as an Imam alongside my dear friend, Rabbi Jonathan Wittenberg. We are all deeply pained by what is happening in Palestine and Israel. We have found some comfort and a lot of hope in our friendships that have been built over many years. We stand together to express our shared commitment to protecting the relationship between our communities. I pray for an end to this war and all wars, and I pray for the innocent caught up in this carnage. I pray for the safety of everyone, wherever they are. Amen. I share your prayers for an ultimate end to war. My prayers too are with all the innocent people caught up in this horror, for all who are hurt and grieve, and all who long for the safety and well-being of their loved ones. We are both on the side of life. We share deep concern for the welfare of everyone and pray for a better future for all. Amen. I pray that we remain united against all forms of discrimination and for our Jewish neighbors and all our communities to know that they are an essential part of our country. Mentre nel mondo tanti fronti bellici sono già aperti, tacciano le armi, si ascolta il grido di pace dei poveri, della gente, dei bambini. Fratelli e sorelle, la guerra non risolve alcun problema, semina solo morte e distruzione. Aumenta l'odio, moltiplica la vendetta. La guerra cancella il futuro. Cancella il futuro. Esorto i credenti a prendere in questo conflitto una sola parte, quella della pace, ma non a parole, ma con la preghiera, con la dedizione totale. Pensando a questo, ho deciso di indire venerdì 27 ottobre una giornata di digiuno e preghiera, di penitenza, alla quale invito a unirsi nel modo che riterranno opportuno le sorelle e i fratelli delle varie confessioni cristiane, gli appartamenti ad altre religioni e a quanto hanno a cuore la causa della pace nel mondo.